Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about taking care of your cookware. That's right, taking care of your pots, your pans, your skillets and all that stuff. Now, if you're like me, I do spend quite a bit of money on my pots and pans and skillets because it's something that lasts a long time and it's something that I want to pass on to my kids, you know, my kids that love to cook, you know, so for example, all clad, they make beautiful, beautiful, great skillets, cookware. This is going to last a lifetime. So I want to make sure I take care of it. One of my other favorite brands that I love using for cooking is Silga Technica. These guys make beautiful, beautiful, great cookware. Okay, it's an Italian brand. It's made in Italy, but they are not cheap. They will easily cost you a couple hundred dollars. Um, this one right here, I believe, was probably about almost a hundred dollars just for this, the saucepan. Okay, but if you take care of it, they will last a very long time. Now, taking care of it doesn't only mean what you do after you cook something, the cleaning part. And for the cleaning part, I love using the Barkeeper's Friend cookware cleanser and polish. Um, this stuff is great on your cookware, but then some other people, they swear by using the liquid form of Barkeeper's Friend. Um, I use this as well. Only thing with the Barkeeper's Friend, the, the stuff that actually does the cleaning part tends to settle down at the bottom of the container. So you got to make sure you shake it up. The one thing I love about using the powder form of Barkeeper's Friend is that it's already in powder form. You just sprinkle it on and you get to scrubbing. Now, like I said, taking care of your cookware is not only something you do after you cook. Taking care of your cookware is something that you do while you're cooking. And what I love using when I'm cooking something is called a spurtle. That's right, this right here, this funny looking thing. Um, I just got through using this on a few dishes that I was making. Um, I was making a Zuppa Toscana soup. My wife loves it when I make that stuff. So I was making some Zuppa Toscana. And then I was also on a different dish. I was making some just green beans and bacon, you know. But with these right here, these spurtles made out of, I think it's acacia wood. These things are beautiful. And they're good. They get around the edges of the pot, skillet, pan, whatever you're cooking in. And they're very, very good. Now, I bought this as a set on Amazon. And the link is down below, so you can get yourself one too. But they pretty, they're pretty cool. They come in a bag like this, so you can keep them stored. And it came with this cool little spoon. I don't really use the spoon that much, but it comes with a nice cool little spoon. But the stars of the show are these right here. And they come in different sizes. So I have the larger one, this one right here. And I also have this size right here. Pretty cool. And a smaller one right here. And then this one right here. It's kind of cool looking, huh? Kind of neat. And then I have the bigger one with the slots on it. And the thing about these is that they're excellent when you're cooking. You know, like for me, these pots, um, let's say my Le Crusette or Le Crusade, or however you say it. This baby right here well taken care of because I use the right tools when I'm cooking. Put that back on there. And I use these type of things. That's right, I use the spurtles all the time because they get into that pot really, really good. And it doesn't leave scratches. It takes heat really, really well so you don't have to worry about it warping or anything like that. It doesn't scratch your cookware and they're easy to maintain. 
So usually what I do after I wash them and I let them dry out, I do not soak these in water. When I'm done using them, I run some water over them. I clean them off really, really good. Then when they dry, I take some sesame oil um, and then I just put a nice coat on it to make sure that they don't dry out and don't crack or warp or anything like that. So in this video, I just wanted to share with you what I do to take care of my cookware. And if you're a person that spends a lot of money on your cooking tools, your cookware, your utensils and stuff like that, then why not take care of it while you're cooking and then also make sure you take care of it after you're cooking. So there we go. That is it. That was my quick video on sharing with you how to take care of your pots, pans and skillets, your cookware while you're cooking and how to take care of them after you're cooking. And that's it. All right, guys, if you guys have anything special that you do with your cookware for cleaning, then let me know. Comment down below and thanks for watching. And also, please check out my actual cooking channel, which is called No Menu Cooking. That's right. Make sure you check that channel out because that's where I do all the cooking on this channel. It's me and then some. This is where I share cooking products, utensils and stuff like that. Information for cooking. All right. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Be bold and be safe. Be safe and be bold. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.